What's up everyone, anyways, welcome back to another Pokemon TCG Let's Break. So, um, yeah, uh, this is my pre-release packages that I had left over from yesterday. I decided not to open up until today, uh, obviously from the Sun and Moon pre-release tournament, uh, as you guys can see. Uh, now, the thing is about this, uh, I obviously didn't bring my studio stuff to the tournament, unfortunately, because I forgot it. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the the few things that you get from the pre-release tournament obviously you get the sun and moon pre-release kit uh it looks like that it's pretty pretty simple pretty legit uh you end up getting this poster that teaches you about you know basically how basic stuff are and you know just tips on how to play the game and you get some code cards um I will probably give you guys a few code cards here in this one, uh, like as of right now. I'll go ahead and give you guys a Sun and Moon code card. I just don't know when they are available. So go ahead and enjoy that code card. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and run down, I wouldn't say probably the most important cards I ran, but just the probably the rares and the deck that I, the theme deck, the theme that I ran with it, that I had. So I had four copies of Persimian, and those were the, I actually didn't get three in the set, but uh, Persimian's what I ended up getting with the pre-release card, um, and I'll go ahead and show you guys that here real quick. I get it on my, my binder. But I ended up getting my butt looked because I kept on getting dead draws, so there's the Persimian pre-release, and here's the you know, per Persimian. So this is pretty cool art. Uh, it's going to be obviously pre-release values. I, I don't know how it's going to be worth, but I guess I'll just end up keeping it uh, for now. Uh, but you know, Persimian was good in the the pre-release, but I don't think it's going to do too hot in the normal TCG just because it's just you have to have all four of them out in order to do damage distinctly. So uh, but there's Persimian. Uh, I ended up getting Hurima. Which is a it's a rare, so we ended up getting two of those. A Parasect, which is a rare. These are all rares, by the way, guys. And a Testacuna, uh, two lanterns actually, a Reverse Hollow and a rare. A Butterfree and a Beware Reverse Hollow, um, rare. So those were the the cards I ended up pulling from those packs during the pre-release, and uh, obviously, I'll go ahead and just show you guys the commons and stuff the trainers and stuff i already put away but basically these were all the the cards that were left over from my pack opening so uh yeah now without any further ado let's go ahead and open up these three packs here that i saved graciously for you guys because i wanted to make sure you guys got some packs so we're gonna go ahead and open up the first pack One, two, three, one, two. And it was one really good supporter card I pulled, and I'll show you that at the ending as well. So we ended up getting a Sand Guest. An Eevee, nice. That's going to be a uh, a really good uh, staple. It's going to go to my staples. That's a pre-evolution Eevee, by the way, guys. So the energy uh, evolution is what the ability is for 60 HP. When you attach... A basic energy card from your hand to the Pokemon during your turn. You may search your deck for a card that evolves from, from this Pokemon that is the same type as that energy card and put it onto this Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle it your deck. Uh, so it's a really good card. Um, I, I really enjoy uh, Eevee's evolutions in the Sun and Moon. I think they're going to probably be the most played. So as of right now for the meta, uh, you're looking at this ability being used quite often. So that's going to be my staple pile. We got a Crawler, Mani, a Diglett, a Lowen Diglett. And if you can't tell, all the Lowen Pokemon have no energy cost in some of them, so that's pretty cool. So it's basically a Pokedex, like the top three cards of your deck. Put them back in any order. It's, uh, it's an attack, so I wouldn't use it, but pretty cool. Now we got a Lowen Dugdrio. So I don't really know the card trick on these guys, so that's why... I think it's like four than three. I'm not 100% sure of that, but... So we got a Reverse Holographic Rare Dug Trio. So it says your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost is one more. Uh, 100 damage. 
and then obviously the attack, which is dig under this attack. This 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. This attack damage isn't affected by weakness and resistance. Not the greatest card in the world, but it works, you know. That's pretty cool. We ended up getting a Dragoneer. Uh, Polyworld. A Crushing Hammer. Nice for a trainer. So that's a staple. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then we got a Gumchu. <laughs> Gumchu GX. Nice. Wow. I uh, didn't expect myself to get a GX card out of this. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then obviously we got the, the energy. Oh, 210 HP. It's mega level, guys, at stage two. Um, I'm not sure how much he's going to be played because he's a stage two, but it's a pretty cool card. Search, your, search the promises, which is the ability. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may have your opponent reveal her their hand. Then for three colorless energy, you got Ted Butt, Bounce. It uh, does 100 damage. It's not bad. And for one energy... Gumshoe Chance GX, so it does 10 plus. This attack does 50 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Wow, that's a one-hit shot knockout Pokemon right there. And that's just a pretty cool GX card that we got and pulled there. I'm quite happy that I didn't get in this card. Wow. Now, our next pack. Two, three, one, two, I believe. Three, four, one, two, three. I believe. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so we got Merle, Skirmery, Caterpie, Sand Gas, Fire Energy, Crocolock. We got uh, an Aquati. EXP share, nice. Another staple there. Uh, Ragnarol, a pincer reverse holographic uncommon, and a Cosmere rare. Interesting. So this one uh, evolves to the, I believe, uh, Laurentis, I believe, and Sogalio, I believe. This one does. So that's pretty cool. So we ended up getting a rare. That's not bad. And I do get the Gumshoes pre-evolutions too, so that's pretty cool. Um, don't think that's going to be played very often, at least by me, but our last pack. Two, three, one, two, three. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I think that's how it was. So we got Fero, Ogurban, Spiro, Nello, and Geimer. Fire energy. Ooh, double colorless energy. Nice. Another another staple. Dragonair. Wimma. And I'm not sure if this would be played. Uh, sh each player shuffles his or her hand into their deck and flips a coin. If heads, that player draws six cards. If tails, then draw they draw three cards. I don't know. It's a pretty cool card, though. I just don't think it's going to be played. We got Rollet. Stuffle. Reverse holographic comment and a cluster rare. And so that's pretty cool. We ended up getting those. And let me go ahead and show you guys my other card that I ended up getting that uh, I didn't expect me to get. Uh, and honestly, I didn't expect it to get a pre-release, but I ended up using it anyways. It's not a really good card to use, but I know it's valuable. So here you guys go. This is uh, the Lily that I ended up pulling at the tournament uh, during my pre-release kit. And you're getting the full art lily so i think currently it's worth like 40 dollars because it's a collector's item and it just it's a very pretty card in general i really enjoy the card so but yeah cool uh now that i got two uh, ultra rares uh out of that i was pretty happy for those pulls and uh yeah guys uh thank you guys as always for you know supporting my videos and i will have more content for you guys here in the near future please like comment share and subscribe for more content and i will see you guys later go ahead and have this last code card peace out guys bye